Today, I am announcing the next phase of our support for enterprises that collectively employ millions of Canadians and are experiencing unprecedented losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We are expanding the business credit availability program put in place to keep small businesses solvent to mid-sized companies with a greater need for capital. Export Development Canada and the Business Development Bank of Canada will work with private sector lenders to free up access to capital in the tens of millions for Canadian companies in every industry and in all regions across Canada. At the same time, we are establishing a large employer emergency financing facility to provide bridge financing for our largest employers if they are unable to obtain financing through other means. But let me be clear, these are bridge loans, not bailouts. Just as we are finding ways to support small and medium-sized businesses, we'll provide loans to the largest enterprises to help them weather the storm and protect the millions of jobs they provide across Canada. In providing this support, we will be guided by several basic principles. The first is to avoid bankruptcies. Our purpose is to keep large Canadian companies on their feet and protect the millions of jobs they provide. The goal here is not to fix pre-existing pre insolvencies or restructurings, nor is it to provide low-cost lending to companies that don't need it. Second, we will be fair. Financing will be accessible to every industry sector in a way that is consistent in every province and territory right across Canada. And critically, we will protect workers and hold companies accountable. This is fundamental. Any company that receives this support will be expected to make and keep certain commitments. Those include maintaining jobs and investment, respecting collective agreements and pension obligations, and environmental and climate commitments. In particular, there will be strict limits on dividends, share buybacks, and executive compensation. To stand strong against tax avoidance and tax evasion, we will require companies to share with us their complete financial structure as they apply for funding. With this program, we're taking a bold step. Ideally, private sector lenders are adequate for the needs of large businesses. But in an extraordinary situation when that isn't always enough, we must act to prevent massive harm to Canadian workers and families and the Canadian economy. We will not allow millions of people to lose their livelihoods because of unprecedented events beyond their control.